Magical friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and this is my magical space. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Uh, big, huge congratulations are in order for Tracy Nicole Lewis, who is the Welsh Wizarding Collector, as she was just awarded the Guinness World Record for the biggest wizarding collection. I believe that used to be awarded to Victoria McLean. Um, so big congratulations to Tracy. What a huge achievement. Um, I personally am not going for that goal. Um, but what what an amazing amazing collection she has don't forget to follow her on instagram i believe she has a facebook um i will put the links up for you uh so yes big huge congratulations to tracy i am so thrilled for such a genuinely lovely person uh and so yeah big round of applause to her so today is pre-movie merch I got asked to do this video by a follower who wanted to see it in more detail. So if you have anything that you would like to see, please feel free to comment below and I will try and do um, whatever video you're requesting. So pre-movie merch came in these, for the most part, these like orange, purple, pink boxes. That's kind of how I spot pre-movie merch. And if you want pre-movie merch, uh, thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, uh, Kijiji if you're in Canada. I get up and check those uh, different sites every morning for pre-movie merch. Um, and then if I spot something that is in decent condition, I typically do buy it for my collection. So that is how I hunt down pre-movie merch. Um, so I can't send you to any specific stores, but thrift stores are also really good. Um, and you can usually get a good deal. So this was $45 that I bought, my price tag, um, and it's from Inesco. The box is pretty beat up, so I did take it out. Typically, I do not take anything in the boxes. You all know that. So this was the troll in the dungeon scene, and this is going to be pre-movie Harry, Ron, and Hermione, so they do look quite different. Ron has this really... Um, ugly bowl cut and I don't know why they do that to Ron pre-movie but that's what they did so I will do a close-up of this. Inesco made some beautiful stunning products like this is clear, um, I have plastic or glass, there's a broken sink there. This The detail on this statue is incredible. I've never heard anybody complain about it. Whoever um, can hunt one down, I highly recommend this item. It's just, it's heavy, it's gorgeous, the details are amazing. So this is pre-movie We've also got pre-movie Ron. This is the Mattel dolls. And so it came with a Hermione, a Hedwig, and a Harry. I do not have those and I will hunt them down and add them to my collection. I want the full set. So this, it comes with a little charm right here for a charm bracelet. And then yeah, that is, and I don't know why, like <laughs> the Hogwarts logo, it's super funny. Um, but yeah, so there is a little stuffed doll of Ron by Mattel and it is the Gryffindor Friends. So if you search Gryffindor Friends on eBay, all the other characters do come up. I'm just looking for a good deal before I um, commit and buy. We've got these. I will do close-ups of everything as per usual. So we've got pre-movie Hagrid and I have an entire shop of pre-movie Hagrid merch because pre-movie Hagrid merch is just amazing. So I will show you all of that. So we've got the umbrella and little Norbert. How sweet is that? We've got Dumbledore and Fox and I mean, Dumbledore's hair in this is epic. Like absolutely epic. We've got pre-movie, pre-movie Harry. Oh, it's not a good look, let me tell you. Um, and Hedwig, we've got Harry on a 
room and we've got Ginny Weasley with like a little potion thing. It's like a little stamper or something. So, um, woo! These are pre-movie. There we go. I will do close-ups of everything as always. And then I do have, oh, okay. So this I found on, I think it was Facebook Marketplace. I took it out of the box once when I bought it and it is a cookie jar. So um, it's Harry in potions and it's a cookie jar. So I try, like I said, to not take anything out of its box um, if the box is in good condition. Okay, so this is the Harry Potter cookie jar. So the top of the cookie jar is the potion. I don't know what kind of potion it is, but it's super cute. Don't break my break. Okay, so this is the cookie jar. And so it's Harry, he's wearing a red and black striped shirt, which they put Harry in a lot in the pre-movie merch, this red and black striped shirt, which I'm assuming that they tried um, doing like a Gryffindor and he's wearing jeans. I swear this kid wears this outfit in all the pre movie merch. So here is the cookie jar. And then there's Harry holding his wand. And that is like the most brittle looking wand imaginable. So I am usually scared to break these things. Please don't break. I have really crappy luck. Um, I will put this back together later all right moving on so we've got and this is a pretty amazing piece i think this is the harry potter pre-movie weasley house world of hogwarts play set and this is what they imagined the burrow to look like before the movies so Weasley House World of Hogwarts play set there's a gnome that appears the chudley cannon's poster moves in ron's room um, and it collect and connect all the play sets. So there is more play sets to this. There's like a fly front angula and the Wumping willow and Harry in that damn red striped shirt again and Ron with his bowl cut. Like I don't, anyways. So uh, this is pre-movie Burrow play set. I eventually I'll probably hunt, try and hunt down the rest of the sets. But I mean, I bought this for, I think it was like $20 on Facebook marketplace, never been opened. Um, or taken out of the packaging, as you can see. So definitely a good find. Then we've got Hermione. And I don't even know why they think this looks like her. Well, I mean, this is what Hermione was imagined to be for. Uh, I don't know, I guess you can't really call this one pre-movie though, because they do have little Harry there. So um, we'll just call it really old. Harry Potter merch. And so we've got Ron, Harry, and Hermione, and these are the Mattel dolls. Okay. Put that there. Then we've got Harry. This is pre-movie. And so in this set, you could have gotten Fluffy, Hedwig, Baby Norbert, Mrs. Norris, Scabbers, and Hagrid. And I do have Hagrid, he's not in the box, but I will show you him um, shortly. I don't want anything to fall and break. And then this one, this one will forever drive me absolutely crazy. So this is Harry and Hermione. This is definitely um, pre-movie. You can tell by the purple orange um, boxes. So you can wear the bracelet that they come with. Um, there's no Ron. Like, they just never made Ron. Ever. Like, I don't understand. And Hermione's got the birdie bots and he's got the chocolate frog. They never made a Ron. Like, how could you just, you make Harry, you release Hermione, then you're just like, oh, well, screw it. I don't need Ron. Well, I need Ron. Like, I don't like having an unfinished collection and they never made Ron for this set. So super, super sad about that. I don't think it's as pre-movie, but it's old, so I will show you. This is my little um, fang. It's from Hallmark. It has um, beware, and then this lifts up, and it's like a little hidey, hidey hole compartment. So I have that. And then this is 
Harry looking into the mirror of Erised, 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 whatever. Um, and the reflection shows his family. So that's pretty old. I really like this piece. I don't, I've held on to it forever. Um, since I started collecting, I've probably had this since like 2008 and I love this piece. Okay, so I got this off of eBay. I looked everywhere for it. I absolutely love the flying keys scene, especially pre-movie. It was just so magical. I've seen it done on prints before. So they released a bunch of different tapestries back in the day. I've seen like the boat scene of them arriving at Hogwarts. Uh, so this is very pre-movie. This cost me $100 on eBay. And I'm not gonna be able to show you like this. I will have to just um, lay it flat and then do a close up. But these tapestries are super thick and they're woven and this is the flying key scene and I will do a close up of it for you. Um, but this, I just absolutely love this. I still have no idea where on earth I am gonna put it in my new space. Upstairs it was across my windows, but this is a beautiful piece of pre-movie merch. You can find um, the tapestries on eBay still, uh, and lots of them are in really good condition. Okay, so we've just got some free movie puzzles. Once again, Ron with his bowl cut and Hermione. I don't have Harry for some reason. Um, they also released these eight every cent markers. I've never smelt them, I've never opened them. So, um, and it was by Elmer's, go figure. So for wizarding, wizards and witches ages four and up. And I guess it was like a play on the every favorite beans because it is the every scent marker. Um, so yeah, each marker has a unique smell, but yes, pre-movie merch, never opened it, never smelt it. I'm sure it's amazing. Uh, this is Hermione. She's supposed to have a wand. It's broken. I guess it would be like a bookend, maybe a statue. I'm sure it was probably from a UNESCO Harry Potter character, Hermione Granger. Yep, UNESCO. Um, I, there was a Harry, I believe, that looked similar to this. Anyways, she's missing her, her wand, but there is pre-movie Hermione. Now let's move to Hagrid because I have so so much good Hagrid stuff. Okay, so pre-movie Hagrid was pretty epic. They did a really good job with him. Um, so this is my wizard's only plaque of Hagrid. He looks amazing. I've never hung it on the wall. It just goes on my Hagrid shelf. We've got um, Hagrid holding Hedwig. Uh, giving Harry him his birthday present. He's got the keys and the umbrella, little Gryffindor scarf. So they kind of made sure to really promote that Hagrid was a Gryffindor uh, pre-movie because everything that Hagrid wears, he's always got the Gryffindor scarf on. Because I know a lot of people were like, I didn't know Hagrid was in Gryffindor. He was in Gryffindor. Um, so then we've got, this is a piggy bank actually. Um, and this is them going to Gringotts. So that's what they imagined the goblins to look like. And then Harry, who always looks like a middle-aged man in pre-movie merch, not like an actual little boy. And then Hagrid, so there's that. Pre-movie Hagrid, um, I don't know, figure. He's not wearing the Gryffindor scarf. His legs move, like the lower part of his legs move. Um, so there's Hagrid. Here is Hagrid. I love this. This is like one of my favorite pieces I have of pre-movie Hagrid. His hair is like, I don't know, like the Demi guy's hair, <laughs> like it fluffs up. Um, and he is a stuffy, like he's a plush. And he, yeah, he's got his Gryffindor scarf. And so there is pre-movie Hagrid. Okay, and so these are my story scopes. And I do have the complete collection. And so each of these little stones, there's a looking glass and each of them has a story and a picture inside. And I have the full set.
it's not pre-movie, but it's pretty old. So I figured I would show you guys. These are my um, Harry Potter nesting dolls. I got these in like 2008 from a little farmer's market. They are super cute. So you've got Harry, Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, and McGonagall. I love these. These are super cute, pretty old. Pretty old, but not pre-movie merch. Okay, so that would be my pre-movie merch um, in my collection. Like I said, if I find anything else that I think that I'm missing, I will definitely throw it in at the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram, uh, TikTok, Facebook, all of that fun stuff. And nothing but love and Lumos for the week ahead. Thanks guys.